Honorable Speaker, Satepele Nailati Kau, Honorable Ministers, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of Parliament, distinguished guests, my fellow Fijians, Bulabinaka, and a very good evening to you all. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by thanking the Reserve Bank of Fiji for the invitation to be the chief guest on this historic occasion as we celebrate 50 years of Fijian independence by unveiling a new $50 commemorative banknote and a 50 cent coin. We come together this evening just uh, three days removed from uh, marking our golden jubilee as an independent nation. We had been preparing for the occasion for over a year with uh, festivities planned everywhere, with something for every Fijian. Meanwhile, it became uh, clear early in the year that whether in Fiji or anywhere in the world, 2020 would shape up to be a very different moment in history than we'd imagined, one defined by COVID-19. With events canceled, gatherings banned, and borders closed around the globe, there were few celebrations to be had. In Fiji, even though we are safe from the virus, something just doesn't sit well in hosting lavish celebrations as our people bear the burden of the global economic fallout COVID-19 has created. And that's why we have scaled things down a bit for our Fiji 50 celebrations. While the RFMF will indeed be parading at Albert Park this Saturday, we are encouraging everyone to watch a live broadcast of the event safely at home. We may be COVID contained, but large unconstrained gatherings are simply not worth the risk. But even uh, in these trying times, Nothing can rob us of our spirits and our sense of uh, patriotism as we look back at all that Fiji has achieved in the past 50 years. And nothing can take away our undying optimism as we look ahead, knowing that we are strong, that we are resilient, and then the best is yet to come. My friends, uh, that's what today is all about and what this new currency represents. Fiji's rich past, but more importantly, our remarkably bright future. 9 October 1970 saw the end of Fiji's colonial period under British rule. Trumpets sounded to Albert Park as the Union flag was officially lowered, ushering a new era of Fijian independence one free of the colonial governance that would prove to have long-standing social consequences in the decades that followed. Just as we closed one chapter, we proudly began another. At the stroke of midnight, the world saw Fiji as the newest nation coming to being on 10th October, 1970. A jubilant, newly independent Fiji went on to celebrate its first ever Fiji Day, which saw the official handover of the constitutional instruments from His Royal Highness Prince Charles to the then late uh, former Prime Minister, Ratu Sir Kama Sesimara, at Albert Park. Then, at uh, precisely uh, 10 o'clock that morning, came the moment that would be ingrained in the memories of Fijians for years to come. The very first raising of our noble banner blue. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, I'm proud to announce that this cherished moment in Fijian history has been immortalized on the front of a newly designed $50 banknote. With the uh, highlights of Fiji blue, bright yellow, and the familiar orange of our $50 bill, the commemorative uh, polymer $50 banknote is strikingly vibrant and colorful, 
adding to Fiji's already beautiful collection of bills known around the world for their tropical flair. You will notice that uh, an image of the government building clock tower with a transparent clock face that uh, opens to the bill's back is shown chiming at 10 o'clock, the exact moment when our new flag was raised to the masthead. There are many more hidden Easter eggs in the design that I let you find for yourself, but uh, notice that no detail was left unnoticed by the Reserve Bank. But while I will always appreciate history and the lesson it provides, I see the true Fiji when I turn to the back of the bill. Here, we see our future, the children of Fiji who will inherit the nation we build for them today. Children who see each other, not for their background, their ethnicity or religion, but see each other equally as Fijians with the world at their feet. We also have the honor of unveiling a commemorative Fiji 50 cent coin, one that is uh, exceptional in its own right, as the first ever colored coin to be released, released in Fijian history. It's uh, truly a stunning piece to mark this milestone, and one that I'm confident will be treasured by Fijian, Fijians for years to come. I want every Fijian boy and girl to remember this day for the rest of their lives, because even while it hasn't been the celebration we planned, planned for, it is one that I hope we can learn from and reflect on for generations to come. One that our children and grandchildren can look back on and see how strong our nation has grown in the years since. See how we healed, how we came together, and how our 50th anniversary marked the beginning of yet another new chapter, one of Fijian resilience. That's why I'm proud to announce that uh, we will be giving a specially packaged 50, Fiji 50 cent coin to each and every child from years one to 13 in primary and secondary schools throughout the country. Starting tomorrow, the Reserve Bank, in uh, coordination with the Ministry of Education, will work to distribute commemorative coins to schools over the next uh, few weeks. It's my hope that these coins find a special place in the lives of Fijian children everywhere, sitting cherished on bookshelves or stored among their prized possessions. Whatever they keep it, they can and should hold on to this commemorative coin. And 50 years on from this week, when our nation celebrates year 100, they will be able to proudly show off their one-of-a-kind piece of Fijian history. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, the Reserve Bank of Fiji is Fiji's central bank, charged with the independent duty of maintaining Fiji's monetary policy and integrity. That uh, enormous responsibility demands professionalism and prudency from its management. And I would like to thank the Governor of the Reserve Bank, Mr. Rifali, for supplying that quality of leadership every day in his service to the Fijian people. He deserves a very special Vinakapakaleo this evening, as it has been his personal drive and creativity which has helped forever capture this half-century milestone of our nation's independence. I would also like to commend both the Reserve Bank and the banknote printer, Delarue, for jointly pledging to offset carbon emissions from the, uh, from the production to the local environmental project right here in Fiji. In doing so, you've shown a genuine commitment to our global climate uh, preservation uh, efforts. So now, when we call on wealthy nations of the world to put their, mouth, uh, put their money where their mouth is in the global fight against the climate change, we can say that Fiji has quite literally done the same. With that, my friends, 
made this new $50 banknote and 50 cent coin both symbolize our rich history and our renewed ambition for a brighter, more prosperous, and more inclusive Fijian future. I now have the pleasure of officially unveiling the, 50, the Fiji 50 commemorative banknote and coin. Thank you. God bless Fiji on this day and for the many to come. Thank you.